Is Lucid stock finally a buy? Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the huge news that posted yesterday for Lucid Motors. I think this is really, really important because for a couple of reasons, Lucid Motors is trading at a key support level, guys. Okay, the stock really hasn't dipped below $17 much. As you can take a look here at the RSI, the RSI is trading around 30 This looks like a great entry point as we're heading up towards earnings. There's some really exciting news that was published. But before we get into the video, guys, be sure to smash that red subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And smash the like button as well. And let me know what you think about Lucid stock in the comments so let's get right into it so if you guys didn't know it says luxury ev maker lucid scores order from saudi government for up to a hundred thousand vehicles this was video uh this article was posted like yesterday so i'll just quickly go over it so it says saudi arabia major investor in lucid has agreed to buy up to a hundred thousand lucid evs over the next 10 years the deal is for at least five hundred thousand vehicles over that time with Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Finance and an option to purchase another 50 more. Deliveries will begin next year. So this is huge, huge, huge news, okay? So why is this so important? Well, first of all, uh, the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, okay, they have a 61 to 62% stake in Lucid stocks. So if we take a look here at the major holders, I hope you guys can see this. You can see right here that the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, they hold literally a billion shares of Lucid, about 61% of the total outstanding shares. So this is a huge vote of confidence, okay? They're basically buying the product that they basically own. And the orders are going to start rolling out next year. And they're going to probably start getting around 1,000 to 2,000 vehicles in 2023. And that is going to scale out um, in 2025 leading up to 2026. Now, I actually wrote an article about this on Seeking Alpha, guys. You guys want an in-depth look where I cover all aspects of Lucid Motors in terms of growth and everything like that. I published this article over on Seeking Alpha. So I'm to give you guys a couple of details from the article I published. Probably the biggest reason this is so important, okay, is that Lucid is planning to, produce, to deliver around 12,000 to 14,000 vehicles in 2022, and they're building a factory in Saudi Arabia. So what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to give you guys um, kind of a breakdown of where I think they're going to be growing their production and their revenues in the future. So if you take a look here, um, the Saudi Arabian production facility will uh, basically support up to 150,000 EVs. And the Arizona facility, the one based in the United States, will do about 350,000. So when production is fully scaled... Lucid will be able to generate around half a million EVs annually. I expect that to happen within the next four to five years. Now, in comparison, Tesla delivered just under a million vehicles last year, and they have, uh, you know, they have a factory, of course, Gigafactory in California. They have a factory in Shanghai. Okay, they're expanding to Europe, and they just built a, a factory in Austin. So obviously, Tesla is much further ahead. When we take a look at the numbers, okay, and I got these numbers from the latest investor presentation, but I just simply adjusted them for the reduced um, deliveries due to obviously supply chain issues, stuff like that. We can see that based on my predictions, I expect Lucid to pretty quickly, um, you know, increase their revenue. So I, I'm projecting them at around $1.4 billion in revenue this year. And by 2025, I'm projecting a company to do around $13 billion a year in revenue. With 2026, once they're uh, finished with the Saudi Arabian factory and they're close to scaling it in the Arizona factory, they'll be doing around a quarter of a, a quarter of a, a million EV deliveries. And I'm guessing the estimate is going to be around $100,000 on average per vehicle because obviously the base Lucid Air is around $77,000 in the $70,000 range. And then, of course, they have more expensive um, add-ons and things like that to increase the cost of the vehicle so the reason why this is excellent news is simply because just as early as 2025 okay lucid could be doing around 13 billion in revenue and if we take a look at the company right now it's trading right near its initial spac value okay so the initial spac value for this company was 15 dollars a share now why is it 15 dollars a share well most companies um release their spat at 10 dollars, but the demand for this uh lucid you know for lucid's uh, shares was so high they had to increase it to 15 so there's a lot of strong support at 15 i really don't expect this stock to dip below 15 dollars and as, as i mentioned earlier trading right in a great buy range now i've been talking to a couple of you guys over social media some of you guys say that you've been buying it at like around 18 dumping it at 15 that can work too but for me personally i'm thinking i want to hold this company 
throughout this decade and I want to be able to sell cover calls on my shares. And the reason I want to do that is because look at the type of income that Tesla shareholders are generating. You know, guys that bought Tesla several years ago, hodled their shares. Now with Tesla stock price through the roof, they're able to generate in a, a ridiculous amount of income, literally life-changing income from just selling cover calls on their positions. I mean, you can literally retire uh, very comfortably if you bought Tesla a few years ago, held your shares, and you can sell um, cover calls on there. We're going to talk a little bit about this later. I need to make a pretty much a separate video on a cover call tutorial. I've been doing it quite a bit, so I'm going to publish a video like that. But I just wanted to give you guys the idea of what's potentially possible. So if we also go in the, in the, the article a little bit deeper, I talked about some of the risk factors. Okay, Lucid seems to have a, a problem with speed okay the one good thing about tesla is tesla's like mcdonald's they deliver quickly right uh you know lucid is more like a you know a, a five you know a four-star restaurant something like that uh you know they really uh are slow with their deliveries okay they take their time so that could really hurt them if they have to keep uh, revising and lowering the, the delivery estimates it could take a lot longer and also lithium prices okay guys you take a look here at this tweet you can see that lithium prices are skyrocketing. So lithium is a key component in all most EV batteries due to its lightweight and it's abundant in the earth, but it takes a long time to mine. Okay. And it's a huge problem with these skyrocketing prices. It's going to cause some issues moving forward potentially. So just be uh, aware of that. But I still believe Lucid will hit the trillion dollar market cap by the end of this year. That will give us about a 34 X from its current share price put in about $612 per share. Now, I don't think the company will have to dilute shares that much. If we take a look here, I believe they're holding quite a bit of money on their balance sheet. Yeah, they're holding about $6 billion on their balance sheet. So I don't expect too much share dilution moving forward. They have plenty of capital. They'll be able to just basically pump out vehicles, um, you know, uh, work on their margins and things like that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be fa uh, fascinated with this vehicle and they're going to want to uh, take it for a spin so like i said i just think this is a great buying opportunity i'm very long lucid i really believe they're the only legit company that can compete with tesla i don't think rivian can compete with tesla i don't think ford will i think uh, a lot of these legacy automakers are you know their their attention is segmented right they're still pumping out you know ice vehicles gas guzzlers and uh, i just I, I prefer the the ev companies that are focused you know focus is so important in a competitive industry or, or why why even you know make these ic vehicles just because they're making money now when you know in like five to ten years no one will even want one it's like it's like you know nokia that still makes the old school phones when everyone wants an iphone it's just a it's kind of a waste of time so that's just my opinion guys i really think lucid is a great buy in this range now um you know it's falling quite a bit from its november high uh it's literally a year to date the shares are down 54%, so it's kind of like getting this great company at half off. This uh, this deal is a huge vote of confidence. That's basically around 20% of their capacity. That means they can still produce around 400,000 vehicles over the next uh, up annually up over the next uh, four years. So a lot, a lot of growth ahead. I really think it's going to be you're going to see Lucid do wonderful things uh, over the next couple of years, and uh, people that are patient hodling their shares at these levels i really think you're going to be paid off but of course i don't know i don't have a crystal ball this is just my opinion guys you know i was wrong previously about meta but i feel i feel like i have a better grasp over the ev industry than i do over social media stocks and things like that so hopefully i'm right about this one so let me know what you guys think in the comment section are you buying are you dumping uh lucid shares are you trading them are you hodling them to sell cover calls or are you looking to retire let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i really appreciate you guys uh stopping by my channel hey i noticed uh, uh, about 80 to 85 percent of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel uh please smash the red subscribe button to get more future videos from me uh this is a really tumultuous time in the markets right now which means there's a lot of opportunity and that's one of the reasons why i'm ramping up videos on this channel because i like buying stocks when they're cheap i don't like buying them when they're expensive so i hope you guys enjoy this content please smash the like button again to support my channel and that's it until next time guys take care